I'm using the Monolith Avant Garde and for this recipe I'm going to use their fire plate. This is going to be perfect for this little recipe. Butterflied sea bass with a charred onion, fennel, chilli and herb salad. First thing you need to do is take the bass apart. Clip off any fins. This has already been scaled and gutted and any fishmonger will be able to do that. Take your bass. And where it's already opened and gutted, you just extend the line down to the tail. And then just cut through the bones which come off the main spine. And with the tip of your knife, you're just teasing the flesh away from the bone. Now, you want to do that on both sides because what you're after is the center spine. This takes a bit of practice, but your fishmonger will be quite happy to do this for you. When it looks a bit like that, you snip out the spine, top to toe, and then just carefully cut it away like that. Now your fish looks like this. It's nice and flat. Now this is a really good technique. It makes it very quick to cook and you also get quite a kind of crispy effect. The skin goes very crispy and then you can turn it over and then the flesh goes a little bit crispy as well. On this barbecue, it'll take around about four to five minutes. Give it a really good season and then give it a squeeze of lime and turn it over and do the same. And then get a decent amount of oil and then skin side down. Leave it alone, don't start playing with it now because you want that skin to get nice and crispy before you start moving it. Now for the garnish, I'm gonna chop up some fennel. I'm gonna cut this quite thickly. So it's gonna get nice and charred and then chopped through the finished dressing. Season well, a little bit of oil on the plate and starting at the hottest bit, which is the bit nearer to the chimney. To that, I'm gonna add some whole red chilies because I want everything nice and charred and crispy and that's gonna give you that real kind of barbecue taste. On with some garlic, spring onions, and finally some hard herbs. So I've got some thyme here and some oregano. So the fennel is picking up a nice color now. I'm gonna just gather all this up and then to speed up the cooking, I've got this little cloche. So the fennel's gonna both char on one side and then steam as well. So I'm just gonna slide the garlic cloves under the cloche as well, just to make sure they steam. The fish is coming along nicely, it's not stuck at all. So that's exactly what you want, that nice kind of charred skin. It's nice and crispy now. A lot of people don't eat fish skin, but you would like this. Probably gonna take another minute or two on the other side. Everything else is ready though. I'm gonna take that off and start chopping it up. And that fennel is beautifully soft and that cloche really works nicely with the steam. And the garlic exactly the same. You've got that nice sort of char on the outside, but it's nice and soft and sweet inside. Before we go any further, I'm gonna get that fish off. The fish is cooked all the way through now, so we just let that rest. So when it comes to the chilies, peel off whatever you can and then just leave the rest. I like to leave the seeds in. Depends how hot you like the dressing. And when it comes to the herbs, you've got that nice char on the outside. So you've still got that flavor of the herb, but you've got that barbecue taste as well. Just pick it off those hard stalks. I'm just gonna chop this a bit finer. So we've got our base and a squeeze of lime, but then we want to lighten it and freshen it up with some fresh herbs. You wouldn't want to put basil and parsley on there because it would just burn and you'd lose all their flavor. It's very, very delicate. So you do that right at the end. And the parsley, it's a good foil. It's there for freshness. There's a lot of strong, punchy flavors in this and that just kind of calms it down a little bit. And then generous amount of oil and a little bit of red wine vinegar. Just for a bit of sharpness. Give it a taste. Mm, that's delicious. That nice hit of chili, sharpness of the vinegar, and you've got all those char barbecue flavors, and then the fresh herbs. Just delicious. Let's give it a final squeeze of lime. A little bit more of oil. So there you go, that's your butterfly sea bass with a charred onion, fennel and chilli and fresh herb salad. And if you want more recipes like this, just head to the Monolith website.